What's up guys? This is gonna be a pretty quick video. Uh, this is just something I was about to do, so I figured I would make a video out of it. If you're like me and you have a fleet of drones, you know that those drones typically don't have the same camera size. This is my Beta 95X, this is my Beta 85X, and this is a Tiny Hawk Freestyle. These have different camera sizes. Typically when you get a new drone or a new camera even, they come with lens caps. These lens caps are really good to have, but they're also very easy to lose. These two drones are drones that I use on professional shoots. So having a lens cap is almost essential. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create new lens caps for your FPV cameras. All right. So in this video, I'm gonna be creating a lens cap for my Beta 95X. Now to do this, you can use a free program called Fusion 360. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And you're gonna need one of these digital calipers. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I just like writing it on paper. So I'm gonna get a piece of paper. So the first thing you need to do is you can either measure this or you can measure the camera. I'm gonna measure the camera and I'll get my measurements that way. But you could also just measure this thing. Make sure this is on zero. And now just see how wide it is. So we'll say 12. and the measurement was 12 millimeters. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the thickness of the lens. And this is 3.2, but we'll go up a little bit since the lens curves up. So we'll say four. Now I'll just draw the lens on its side, just like this to represent it. I'm not that good at drawing, whatever, dude. And now the height was four millimeters. And the thickness for the edge that goes around the camera, I'll just make one millimeter. One millimeter. You don't have to draw something as simple as this, but typically I try and draw whatever I'm trying to recreate. Makes it a little easier. So now I'll hop on over to Fusion 360. I'll leave a link to this program in the description. You can download this for free and design Pretty simple stuff. So here's Fusion 360. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to save this <clears throat> as a new project. And we'll call this Lens Cap. Go in here. And we'll just call this Beta 95X lens cap. Save it in here. There we go. All right, so to start, I'm gonna draw a circle. You can draw it on any plane. Um, here's the circle tool right here. Click that, and we'll click right in the center. And this is how we make the circle however big we want. So on the piece of paper, I wrote down 12 millimeters. That's how wide the lens is. So. Instead of making this 12 millimeters, I'm gonna to wanna to add walls around it. And the wall that I'm gonna make is one millimeter thick. So one millimeter thick on each side is gonna make this circle 14 millimeters. So we'll type 14, enter. And now finish sketch. This is the part that's gonna protect the lens. So we can extrude this. I like to keep things at least one millimeter thick. So we'll do one. There we go. Now what we can do is center this, I'll zoom in a little bit. Now we're gonna just do the ring that goes around this. So I'm gonna create another sketch. We're gonna draw it right on top of this. Now we're gonna do a circle that is 12 millimeters. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another circle that is 14. So now that gives us an outer ring that is one millimeter thick. So what we can do is we can click this and now we can extrude that up. Now the thickness that I had for the lens cap was four millimeters. So I'm just gonna try that. There we go. And that's it. Now I have a lens cap. So let's save it and print it and see how it looks. All 
All right, so this just got done printing and here is the lens cap. So here's the original one and here's the 3D printed one. They are literally the exact same size. So let's see how it fits on the drone. Perfect. I'm sure I'm not the first one to lose a lens cap for these drones. Uh, these are very useful to have and like I said, very easy to lose. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'll put this on Thingiverse and I'll probably make a couple other ones just for the other cameras that I have. And uh, yeah, so if this video helped you out, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, like, share the video, whatever dude. Thanks for watching.